Hello everyone. Now in this video, we will create a item table. If you remembered in the previous videos, we learned how to create a header table. Now we will create a item table. And we already learned in very detail what is header and what is item table. Now we will create this item table. We all know whenever we want to create a table, we have to create domain and data elements first. Now, we'll firstly start with domain. If you see in the first table, we already created a domain for order number, which is numeric 10. And in the item table also, we have order number numeric 10. So we will not create a new domain. We will use the existing domain. Now, order item number numeric 2. So we will create a new domain. This order description, character 40, we will create a new domain. Now, item cost, currency 7, 2. And if you remembered, we already created a domain of CURR 7, 2. So we will use that existing domain. So we will create only two new domains. One for order item number, which is numeric 2. And one is order description, which is character 40. We'll start with the creation of these two domains. I will go to SC11. I will give some name to the domain. Z. Order item number. And I will use some serial number. I will click on create button. I will give the short description or purpose for which purpose I am creating this domain. And it is of numeric 2. I will use numc. And two, I will press enter. Three step process, control S. I'll save it as a local object. I will check the syntax, no inconsistencies found. And lastly, I will activate this domain. I will note down this domain. And this is for order item number. Now we will create next domain for order description. I will give some name. I'll click on create button. Order description. Now, what is the length and type of order description, it is character 40. I will choose character. I'll press enter. I will save this. I will check the syntax. And lastly, I will activate this domain. So my second domain also ready. Now, we will start with data element creation. What is data element? How a field or column will be visible to end user? We already created the data element for order number. It means we will not create a new data element. 
for order number. Order item number, yes, we will create a new data element because that description is different. Order description, yes, we will create a new data element because description is different. Item cost, yes, we will create a new data element because previously that description is total amount. Do not confuse yourself. Domain is technical characteristics. We already have the domain available of 7,2. So we have not created a new domain. But now we are talking about data element. Now, total amount description is totally different from item cost. So we have to create a new data element but we will use the same domain which we created for total amount. Now, we will create three data elements, one for order item number, one for order description, and one for item cost. We'll start. I will give some name to the data element. Data element it's, is for order item number. Order item number. I will click on create button. Data element. Order item number. Now I will pass the domain which I created for order item number. Numeric two automatically appeared. Now we will pass the field labels. Order I number suppose. I T N no suppose. Here I will pass full order item number. Here I will pass full order item number, order item, enter. Lens automatically calculated, control S, control F2 and control F3. So my new data element is ready. I will note down this. Now I will create another data element for order description. I will give some name. I'll click on create button. I will give the purpose. Order description. I will pass the domain which I created for order description. Enter. Character 40 automatically appeared. Order description. Here I will pass full order description. Order description. Because this is the purpose of the data element. Lens automatically calculated. Control S, Control F2, Control F3. So now my second data element I also created. Now I will go for my third data element, which is for item cost. I will give some name. I cost, suppose, item cost. I'll click on create. I will give the purpose, item cost. Now here I will pass the domain which I created for total cost. We have not created a new domain. We are using the existing domain. I will give the field label item cost. I will pass medium, long and heading. Enter. 
control S, control F2, and control F3. And I will note down this particular data element. So what we did in this particular video, whatever the new domains and data elements are required, we created those new domain and data elements. In the next video, we will create this order item table. Thank you.